And the police? They do nothing to stop you? The local cops? The cops drink like everyone else, sweetheart. They know where their interests lie. Apart from that pig-headed Bradley, I don't know whether to admire his stubbornness or to have pity on him. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. We saw this guy poking around here. It's fine. He's with me. Oh. Okay. gentlemen and move that for me. That's how it's done. Do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? Don't overdo it. Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. Ugh, oh, this place stinks. What is the connection between this place in the Sarah Hawkins case. happened here. These painkillers were prescribed three months ago. Someone has been taking them since the time of the Hawkins' death. It smells as bad as it looks. Can't sleep. I know how that feels. Someone treasures this crumpled picture to the point of sleeping with it. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Detective Pierce, I told you to stay away from this warehouse. The 
You seem like a competent officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. I hate to be taken for a fool. All right, Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange poetry. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car's parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? Open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed, but we'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins Mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion or do you have other questions? You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. Huh. It's really that old. Come on, let's leave the stories of the dead alone. It's nothing to do with your case anyhow. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, 
then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? Your partner, Andrews, warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kind of unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family, so he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Recently fallen. It's as if all life has abandoned the place. Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined. But the architecture seems too recent. Flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. Poor kid. Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, Detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. 
Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary? And steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing. Let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. Lord, have pity on this poor family. to find another entrance. This entrance is still in use. Whoa! Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them! Dump them into the ocean! Whoa! Uh. 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 You're... Mr. Winchester, lower that axe, and let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on Darkwater. You haven't forgiven yourself. You stay here to honor the memory of the deceased. That's true. I want no more violence, no more tragedy. It's painful to be the last one left. You don't know how right you are. Understood. I'm listening. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked, and I make sure it stays that way. No one lives in the mansion, and you don't take care of it anymore. If you have a good reason to be here, I'm listening. There's vermin. I keep an eye out. Vermin? Yeah, that's it. Vermin. Right. This is what we're going to do. I go inside, and I promise that I'll hunt vermin. Okay with you? Mm, I'm not sure. If there's nothing else to fear, you can give me that key. <clears throat> right. Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. This gate is locked.
poor wretch seems to spend the best part of his time isolated from the world. Shall we enter? Now that you've finished your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. You're right. Let's go. Take a look inside. I'm with you. Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on? The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? What kind of meat is this? This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. Probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Sarah Hawkins' plate. Why did she leave it untouched? Something happened at this table. An argument? Dreaming again. Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Sarah Hawkins and little Simon. The perfect picture of the middle class family.
Charles Hawkins, some kind of explorer. Charles and Sarah's wedding is painted by Sarah herself. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? They had a fight. Why? Did it stop at the time of the fire?
Did someone escape the fire? Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Someone fell here. A desperate attempt to flee. So, Detective, what do you make of it? I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. This door is locked.
These bandages are covered in dried blood. The same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. And given the bloodstains, I'd also say that it's the same person. The lyrics of the drunken sailor, a sea shanty. This door is blocked from the outside. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. Moby Dick, Melville's classic, the epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles' inheritance. If you're right, we should be able to find clues among the Hawkins' personal effects. Did you hear that? What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well... <sighs> Not much, to be honest. We all assume the Hawkins lived on Charles' inheritance. Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1692 by two families that seceded from the New England colonies. A book on hunting whales, the island's staple diet last century. There's something disturbing about this painting. Twenty thousand leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. A crowbar could prove useful.
could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Locked. The boys' room. child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11 year old boy. What was wrong with this family? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. What will her room reveal about her? Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment.
Perfect. This door is locked. Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? Hmm. Looks like a revocation ritual. Was she trying to invoke something or banish it? 